And it starts with breaking news. A sophisticated and expensive piece of military equipment based out of Beale Air Force Base has crashed during a routine flight in Southern California. Good evening, I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Sharon Roger. The crash happened this afternoon near Mount Whitney, southeast of Fresno in the eastern Sierra Nevada. CBS 13's Drew Balea is in the newsroom tonight with the very latest details. Drew? Well, the good news here, if there is a little bit of silver lining, is that there were no injuries because this was a drone. Now there's a mystery in the skies and an investigation on the ground. The Air Force is looking into what caused that drone to go down. The RQ-4 Global Hawk has been flying for 15 years. Hawkeye switching. The high-altitude, long-endurance aircrafts are used on surveillance missions around the world. Each plane costs roughly $220 million if you include its development. And in an instant, the 33-drone fleet was reduced by one. The unmanned plane crashed east of Mount Whitney. It was on a non-operational flight from Edwards Air Force Base to its home station at Beale Air Force Base. The drone was being piloted by a crew in Palmdale. We call it in aviation a chain of events. Tom Berg is an aviation professor at Sacramento City College. Sometimes it's uh, the airplane, sometimes it's the people, sometimes it's the weather. He says the drones operate much like a manned military aircraft. Has lift, has engines and has flight controls. Except a drone is flown by a three-person team on the ground. And in the past, there were some issues. Back in 2006, the Air Force grounded the Global Hawk because pilots were having a hard time contacting the plane in flight. Now investigators are looking into what caused this mid-air mishap. The Global Hawk does have an outstanding flight safety record. It's considered to be one of the safest platforms in the Air Force fleet with aircraft that have flown 200,000 flight hours. The last incident or a crash of this kind of an RQ-4 was back in 2012. Certainly a big mystery. Drew Belay live for us tonight. Drew, thank you.